Some people talk about the shaken baby uh, syndrome and think about acceleration, deceleration as being uh, related to that. And in fact, I guess it is. The, the problem with shaken baby syndrome is it's a much more violent movement. It uh, involves a, a great deal of, of uh, centrifugal forces. And in a, a baby's brain is different than the high school student or college student or professional athlete in terms of being uh, more vulnerable to any type of injury. And shaken baby syndrome usually refers to a much more serious brain injury. Uh, that being based on the um, uh, vasculature uh, breaking essentially at, usually at the top of the brain and you get a lot of bleeding there and so on so that's a, a very severe brain injury. The same dynamics are in play but it's a different type of brain that's uh, uh, absorbing that insult. Uh, with shaken baby syndrome the, the real uh, difference between that and being a normal parent where you throw, perhaps throw your child up in the air and catch them is in the actual physics of it. And the, the part of that that's uh, kind of interesting is in, in violent shaking, you increase the uh, acceleration um, by uh, many, uh, many Gs in essence. Um, but when you, when you throw a baby into the air, you actually, um, almost everybody catches them very uh, softly. Uh, you go with the flow um, as the child is coming down. And I'm, I'm, by the way, I'm not advocating for throwing your children in the air. So, uh, however, uh, when, when that sort of thing happens, the, the gentle uh, shock absorbing value of, of going with the, the uh, flow there uh, uh, makes most sense for making sure you're not going to injure your child. Uh, do remember though as a public service announcement, uh, uh, you may miss and you don't want to uh, have that uh, child uh, hit the ground. So uh, I don't advocate for it, but I will make my public disclosure that I've done it a few times with my children.